Hey guys, it's Kelly, Amulet's Girl 77, and I've had some requests to do a scrap room tour. So we're going to do that today. Um, it might be in um, two or three different parts, or I may just do like a mini tour and um, just show the the basics and 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 see if that covers it. Um, I love my scrap room, but it is in a little bit of an unconventional unconventional place. It is uh, not in a bedroom or a back office or anything like that. It is in the, I guess it would be like the den because the living room's there, dining room's behind, yeah. It would, be the, it would be like a den or an extra living room. And let me just show you why I say this, okay? So here we are, we're standing in my craft room and we're standing right where my computer is at my work table. Now let me just turn around. That's why I say it's unconventional. That's my kitchen, dining room, living room's over there behind that. You can't see it through the wall. But yes, don't pay no mind to all that stuff on the counter. I'm baking today, so that's why that's all out there. <laughs> not, that, not that this is anything about baking. Anyway, so yeah, the room is kind of U-shaped and it's very out in the open. And that's okay because, I mean, there's pros and cons to it. The the con is that I can't just shut the door and it be gone. I, I'm a messy crafter. I'll have stuff everywhere, on the floor, all over the table, everywhere. And when I finish, you know, I clean up my mess, but, you know, um, yeah, you just can't close the door and call it good. What I do like about the room being here is that I'm not isolated in a back bedroom either. So if my husband and my kids are in the living room watching TV or something, I can still talk to them, interact with them, communicate with them, and be in this room where I'm happy. So, you know, there's pros and cons. But anyway, we'll just get started. This is the, this is the first wall. And um, one of my favorite things about this room is this... You can't hardly see it because all the plant life in front of it. We had to move the plant around to make way for Christmas decorations. But if you look closely, you can see the awesome stuff that Carol has made for me that I adore. You see it up there? Anyway, so it's, yeah, it's that old frame and I love it. I love having it in here. This is um, some of the last plastic bin stuff that I have that I haven't gotten rid of. Been slowly but surely trying to get rid of these things. But it's just like I can't. I mean, where would I put? I mean, if you can see, these things are packed, right? Where would I put all this stuff? I, I don't even know. And I like try to go through here every couple of months and purge out stuff that is just doesn't need to be here. But yeah. It's it's so easy to acquire so much stuff. So anyway, that is um, just a place that's just a, a wine crate. And it holds this big thing that has all kinds of embellishments on it that is tipping over. So I have stopped putting embellishments on it. <laughs> and this um, large white shelf, uh, my husband had stopped by... Um, our local craft, a local scrapbook store here, they went out of business, but um, they were moving into a bigger shop. This is a couple of years before they went out of business. And this was actually in their shop. It was their paper, 12 by 12 paper storage. So they said, hey, do you want this? You know, we'll sell it to you. And he was like, sure. So he bought it and um, and now I have it. Ultimately, I would like to get rid of it because it's really not it's not really effective. I have shelves that are just a hot mess. I mean, look at some of these. I'd like to have some of that more behind closed doors. Yeah, some of the stuff, I mean, I don't know how you could make it not messy, but I think most of y'all know what I'm saying, right? So yeah. Um, so I keep a lot of stuff that I'm not using at all times um, down lower because I don't need to get down there very often. And I try to keep, um, I just lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was gonna say. Anyway, um, try to keep my cardstock here. The only thing is, is that this is, I've been trying to phase out all of this cardstock. 
this is the stuff that you can get at Joann's. It's the coordinations. And I, it just tears so badly when I put it in my um, my die cut machine. It just tears up and that's really a waste. So I've been trying to slowly but surely switch over to the Stampin' Up! and the Paper Tray Ink Paper because that just cuts beautifully. But this stuff still works as backgrounds, you know, if you're not cutting on it. So, yeah. And then there's punches in here. And it's kind of just a hodgepodge, but I do know where stuff is. These are um, the inserts for the Project Life. These are Project Life cards and um, cards and, uh, you know, little kits and stuff. Stuff that I, um, I haven't used for a while. Stuff that probably I need to get rid of but I haven't yet. So here's more, like I said, more paper storage, cricket mats, all those lucky eight punches. Here's um, 12 by 12 paper. There's some cards that I made in that card box. There's a layout of my, my baby, my candle addiction. These are paper collections. So when I get a collection of paper, I like to keep it all together in in these um, pouches that you can get at Michael's. So yeah, I just kind of keep them all together in the pouch. And that way when I'm looking for something, I can find it. The only problem with this storage method is... Sometimes um, there's some really great stuff, like like the I think it was the style board collection had some great gold washi tape. Well, I I've been looking for gold washi forever, but I've had it for I don't know how long, and I forgot because it was in one of these little plastic prisons, as somebody just recently called them, and I yeah couldn't find it because I forgot I had it in there. Anyway. So this is, whoops, I guess I missed a couple of things. This is um, my albums, and then this is like Prima and, uh, what's the other, Graphic 45 down here, uh, collections in here. And um, this is more, more paper collections. This is my um, Christmas card uh, book. Gosh, I hope that's in frame. Um, I keep a an idea, or a, I keep I keep a record of what the card that we sent to, you know, what kind of cards we sent out the year before. So I don't make somebody a card um, the the next year that's like the same, or any extras. I don't send them exactly the same thing that they got the previous year. So yeah. So this is just more of that plastic stuff, and this is like Sensi in there, and. Goodness, there's just too much. This is all like mixed media in this one. I'm not tr trying not to pull it out because there's a scentsy going, a burning on the top. So this is where I keep some of the lace that I try to use uh, more often. I just haven't been using lace much lately. Here is my um, upside down, my snow globes that I made last year for Christmas. I didn't really do a lot of decorating in here this year, but I put a few things out just so it would be pretty. Anyway, I love snow globes, especially uh, Tinkerbell snow globes. So here's the fireplace, but I've got paper in front of it, so it really isn't, you know, it's not, not really effective as a fireplace. <laughs> and then these are just, um, these are the, these here are those, I just emptied all those out from being all over my craft room. And my husband's going to put them up in the garage. And behind that is just, it's some paper um, collections that I pulled out that I'm either going to use them. If I don't do something with them in the next couple weeks, they're out of here. So that's kind of been what I've happened to do to get things, just to keep things moving along. So here's the other side of the room, and this is more where I'm, I hang out at. There's my um, snow houses this, for this year, another Tinkerbell snow globe. This is, oh you guys, I'm going to show you this. See this here? 
this. My daughter made this a couple years ago for Christmas. Check it out, the detail of that. It's a little pot, or like a teapot and a teacup. Sorry, totally not in frame. Little teacup. This one, I need to glue this guy back down. This one here. A teacup, sugar bowl. There's the bowl here. There's the teapot. Yeah, she, um, she was into quilling for a while. Yeah, she made she made that for me. So the, things are a little bit cluttered because it had to make room for the Christmas stuff. So it's a little cluttery, but you know I'll deal with it. <laughs> um, this back corner, I kind of hide stuff. I hide like there's un there's blank canvases there, and I I uh, hang all the Cricut mats on the side of this metal cabinet. There's um, the Martha Stewart cutting um, scoreboard down there and then my my um, trimmer and this right here I keep these heavy duty um, heavy duty rolls because we go to California a lot and we go to estate sales and things and I find some really great lace and that's that's a good way to store it is on these big rolls so I just throw my my tripods in there and there's probably a couple things now that don't belong that's kind of like my junkie corner, <laughs> call it. Yeah, so let's talk about these things on the floor here. Um, the carpet in this room is um, dove gray. Okay, it looks like, it looks kind of, it looks dark gray on um, camera, but it is very, very, very light. <laughs> very light. And um, this is a craft room, so... I'm in the glitter and the paint and I'm spraying stuff and that gets on the carpet and it ruins it. So we've got a couple things down to protect it. Like there's this black rug and then there's this rug is this as well. And this, the gray, I can pick that up and throw it in the washer. So that's why it's down. I'm not sure what we're going to do for flooring in this room, but gray carpet is not what it's going to be. So yeah. Okay. So here are the cabinets that I was talking about and um, we got rid of a bunch of uh, shelving that was in here because it was so out in the it was everything was just open and it looked so messy that it was starting to just get me down so we we did some changing and we got um, we put the cabinets in here and got rid of the, the old shelving I kept a couple of the smaller ones just so I could put stuff high up that I didn't need every day so that's kind of that So this would be the area that I am at is right back through here and like these cabinets this one is it's crackers but this has got um, stamps lots of stamps lots of things I'm working on my planner just sits in there and um, paper towels because I always need paper towels um, these top ones open this way, but there's a piece that goes here, but I'm not tall enough to look over, so I had my husband take them out just for these top ones. So these open like this, and this is stamps, uh, stamps, stamps, and more stamps. There's all those Prima dolls, and this is like my style stamps and mostly like Simon Says stamps and Lawn Fawn where they have a stamp and a die that goes with it. Mostly this kind of stuff is in here. There's still a little bit more hanging on the um, the tall uh, clip it up. I just haven't got it all off there yet. This is kind of the hodgepodge drawer. I keep um, my embossing powder that I use and obviously I like to do stuff with coffee filters there's memory cards in here I keep my um, cameo mat in here my Tim Holtz mat in here and then any product that I have purchased and haven't put away yet kinda goes in here so I just toss it in this this white bucket here until I have a minute to deal with it so yeah, this is the hodgepodge drawer. 
This is um, die and die cutting, so bunches and bunches and bunches of cartridges. There's a gypsy in there, and these are all those, um, what are they called, these art bins that keep your, your metal dies in. The bottom is paint, and I'm not getting on the floor. <laughs> I'm just not. So this is um, probably my favorite area right here. This is um, things that I use quite a bit. This is where I would stand to work. I would just be facing the other direction. There is those cute little owls. I love them. And there is some Prima inks and some washi. And there is some uh, stickles and some like pretty pretty um buttons and stuff that you could use for just use for your project whatever you want to do with them there is some um, lindy's in that i put this candle out and then there's more lindy's and um, dilutions and all kinds of stuff up going all the way up i put on the top the top layer of the top shelf what i don't use as often just so it would, you know, I don't need it down if I don't use it off. And I have a little step stool in here that I can get two things. Oh, there's a stethoscope, stethoscope up there. I guess I can't live without that. I forgot to show that there is this awesome box right here that Carol had made me. And then this beautiful, beautiful mini that she made me that is more valuable to me than you guys could ever imagine. This book is amazing. And so is the person that made it. Thank you so much, Carol. I truly love it. So anyway, back to this and uh, don't want to start bawling over here. Let's see, that is the rest of the ink storage. Or the ink spray. This is um, this is the this is the area that I keep what I'm doing now uh, in. So this is um, my December daily stuff and uh, stuff that I'm using for to make Christmas cards with. So that is this what I'm doing. What you know projects in the projects at the time kind of a thing. And then this is my Simon Says Stamp December um, stamp club that I haven't even gotten into yet. Like I said, there's a face that will go on here to keep it anything from falling out. Uh, but I don't like to have to reach in. I like to be able to just leave the, this open and just put my hand in there and get what I want or take out what I want. So I like that feature about these. And then this is, this is all of my Christmas paper. And it's actually not all of it. There's more over there and there's more. There's another like tall stack of it that I just wasn't going to use this year. This is stuff that I may use in either my layout or something. But this kind of stuff does not need to live in here 20, you know, 12 months out of the year because I'm not going to be using it 12 months out of the year. I could, this drawer could be utilized much better. So yeah, that's um, that's that. And then the next one is this is die cutting. So a bunch of dies and the machines that go with them, and then also all of the the plates and mats and pads and all the and magnetic things that go with it. So that's all um, a die cutting situation. And then this is the last cabinet. This is the tall one. And so up at the top is just some decorative stuff. Um, some frames I want to alter. Um, that's the, you know, things I don't use all the time. Those um, bamboo um, capture uh, boards, smash books, Project Life stuff, some more smash books, cards I'm currently working on right here. And then this is like my working, whoopsie, project life tray. 
here I'll show you 